Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the divisibility rules. So we have the divisible by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, by 6, by 9, and by 10. So we're going to use these rules to determine if the given number is divisible by these numbers. So this can serve as the shortcut if you're going to check if the number is divisible by these numbers. Let's start with divisible by 2. If the number is an even number. So if a number is even even number, then it is divisible by 2. Divisible by 3. If the sum of the digits of a number is a multiple of 3. So, in divisible by 3, we're going to check. Let's say we have 240 3. Okay, 243. So, we're going to get the sum of the digits. So 2 plus 3, that is 6, plus, uh, 2 plus 4, that is 6 plus 3, 2 plus 4 plus 3, that is 9. And the sum must be a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3, that means 243 is a multiple of, or divisible by 3. Okay, next, divisible by 4. If the last two digits of the number is divisible by 4. So let's say we have 248. Just get the last two digit, digits, then check if this is divisible by 4. So 48 is divisible by 4. That means the number is divisible by 4. Divisible by, by 5, very easy, if the 1's place of the number is 0 or 5. So if the number ends with 0 or 5, then that is divisible by 5. Divisible by 6, if the number is both divisible by 2 and 3. So it should be divisible by 2 and by 3. Divisible by 9, if the sum of the digits of the number is a multiple of 9. So just like our rule in divisible by 3. And um, divisible by 10 if the 1's place of a number is 0. So if the number ends with 0. Okay, to further understand, let's have this table. Then we're going to check if these numbers are divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. To apply our divisibility rules. Okay, 2304, 2304 divisible by 2. Next, is it divisible by 3? So if we're going to add 2 plus 3, that is 5, 5 plus 0, that is 5 plus 4, 9. 9 is a multiple of 3, so that is divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 4? If the last two digits are multiples of 4, yes, it is divisible by 4. 0, 4 or CP4 is, uh, uh, is divisible by 4. Is it divisible by 5? No. Because our rule is, it must end with 0 or 5 only. Divisible by 6? Okay, if it is divisible by 2 and 3, therefore it is divisible by 6. Is it divisible by 9? So let us check. So the sum of the digits is 9. So that is a multiple of 9. Okay, alright. Is it divisible by 10? Obviously not. Because the number does not end with 0. Okay, second is 15,270 divisible by 2. Now, 
1 plus 5, that is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 7, 15. Okay, it is divisible by 3. Divisible by 4 is 70. Divisible by 4? No. Is it divisible by 5? It ends with 0. So yes, it is divisible by 5. Is it divisible by 6? It is divisible by 2 and 3. Therefore, it is divisible by 6. 9. Our sum is, the sum of the digits is 15. So 15 is not a multiple of 9. So x. Ends with 0. That is divisible by 10. Last, 9,705. It is not divisible by 2. Now let us check. If it is divisible by 3, 9 plus 7, that is 16, plus 5, 21. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. That is divisible by 3. 0, 5. Is it uh, divisible by 4? No. Is it divisible by 5? It ends with 5. Yes, it is. Is it divisible by 6? It is not divisible by 2. Therefore, it is not divisible by 6. 21. The sum of the digits is 21. Is it a multiple of 9? 9, 8, no. And last, the number does not end with 0. Therefore, it's not divisible by. So that is our divisibil divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.